Uh, hey guys. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say it. I'm just gonna do it. Hey, we're playing Kerbal Space Program because we've decided we're gonna we're gonna stop with our Fallout playthrough for a while because, well, everyone's played Fallout Three, and. and- there's not yeah. a lot of creativity you can add to that game. No, without modding. Like, I find the most popular videos now with Fallout are mod videos, so... Like MXR? He does... I like his I like his I like, videos. I don't really like his voice, but his videos are pretty I good. Li- I like his voice because it... it to be totally honest, it, his voice sounds kind of silly, so... It does, yeah. So that's why I like it. <laughs> but anyways, we're playing Curl Space Program. Kerbal Kerbal Space Kerbal Kerbal Space, shut up! <laughs> Kerbal Space Program, because, I don't know... It's fun. We like to play it. We like to just mess around. We're not super serious about it. And, you know, we just thought we tried to make a cool plane or a rocket or something. See, I'm an actual pilot, like IRL. And so I can, I can, I can do planes good. <laughs> so, so there's that. And then, I mean. I kind of understand that if it's flat and goes fast, it flies. Yeah, so... Hopefully, using that, we can we can do something cool. I'm thinking... Here's what I'm thinking. Do you want to go creative or story? Let's just go creative, not worry about that for now. We'll just do mess around for a bit. Then maybe we'll do like a... St- oh, I got the hiccups for a sec. Or maybe I just had to burp. I don't know. But... <laughs> I don't know. My body had air in it. Didn't but, really work out. Oh, man. But what I was thinking <laughs> was making a, a space plane, so a plane that can go to space... That takes off from the water. So, like, lots of people can make planes that take off from the runway make it to space. So we should make one that can take off from the runway, land on the water, and then take off from the water and go to space, and then come back, land on the water, take off from the water, and land on the runway. Okay. I think that's a good idea. So depending on how long it takes us to build and design, we may need to do this particular task. With a time lapse. With a time lapse, or maybe a couple videos. We'll see what happens. But uh, I'm going to set a timer so we don't make a a, a three-hour video. Getting all that super real behind-the-scenes action. So so I'm going to put a timer... For 15 minutes. I think that. I think 15 minutes. Yeah, I think 15 minutes is like good. a good length through a video. Okay, so 15 minutes starts right now. Okay, so let's start. Start L game. Um, I think we already have save files. Uh, yeah, Matt's butt. Matt's butt. That's the one we want to. We want to. We want to load. We want to play my, with Matt's butt. We want to load my butt. We want to go into my butt. I think that's. That's the where plan. all the good planes are. That's all Matt's the good butt. planes are in my butt. That's where I put them. <laughs> For safekeeping. Yeah. That's where they sleep. Nobody thinks to look in there. <laughs> no one would check your butt for a plane. Exactly. So uh, so we have some mods. We have a few mods. Um, what the fuck is that? I don't remember just, that. It's part of the mod that adds bases and stuff, but I think there's been an update. Oh, probably. I don't know what I'm... I don't remember this. But, uh, well, it's loaded different. now, so the frame rate's fine. But uh, it, it, even if that... There, there's... We're only going to use this main runway, maybe a couple of the other runways. Oh, yeah, there's other runways. I forgot about that. Yeah, well, we, we that's what the mod does. It adds other It's called uh, Kerbal Constructs or something, or Kerb Inside. That's what it's called. Fuck, those <laughs> trucks. Every time I play this goddamn game. Oh, the trucks that go crazy. That's right. Drink your chocolate milk. Oh, that's really good. Ah, yeah. Uh, okay. So, let's start with the base, like, like... Let's. Uh, you know what? You Explain know what? planes, Matt. Let's look up boat plane, float plane, float plane, float plane. Or s- let's go sea plane. Or you know what? Flying boat. Let's look up flying boat. We we'll should... we'll put we'll we'll show a picture of of the reference image we're gonna use. Mm-hmm. But I'm saying let's put let's look up flying boat on my phone here. It's a thing. Yeah. It's it... a certain type of airplane. Like a float plane is one that you put floats on the bottom. We'll put a picture up. Mm-hmm. But a flying boat is the one where the body of the plane is the floaty part itself. Okay. That's also the uh, inflatable rubber a dinghy dinghy with a hang glider attached. We'll put a picture of that up too. I'm liking this one. I'm man. liking this one. The one that's embedded in the ground. I think we can do that. Uh. Maybe not. 
Honestly, like, I'm looking... I like this one. Okay, it looks super sci-fi. I mean... I mean, I mean, like, I, like, I, I, okay, I, uh, the, <laughs> the headline probably isn't the best headline, but. Why this futuristic flying boat won't replace airliners anytime soon. Part of me thinks, should we read it? But the other part of me is like, nah, <laughs> that's dumb. No, we're doing a show. Anyways, so I think this is a good reference. I, th I like this reference picture. We should make a flying submarine because no one's ever done it before, and it's annoying. Yeah, that'd be. That's baby steps, Merrick. Baby steps. Baby steps. Sometimes so, you got to run before you can walk. So let's start. Let's start with this cockpit. I like it. It okay. looks like a space shuttle, kinda. Weird. Yeah. It's almost, it's almost like it's meant for space. And shuttling. Uh, yes. <laughs> Every day I'm shuttling. Shut up. <laughs> shut up. Shut up. <laughs> okay. So. We got a little, we got an aerodynamic nose. So, well, kind of. It's actually probably not the most aerodynamic shape, but we don't care. It's Kerbal Space Program. It's just a drag, and it's just a number in this game. There's no actual, like, physical aerodynamics. <laughs> um, drag, speed, fuel, they're all just numbers. It's just numbers. So, okay. Should we show tanks. them how to get to the sun some other time? Oh, the... But, oh, yeah, we'll do that another... We'll show that a different video. Where you can go almost light speed? Well, I mean, I, I, f I found that on YouTube in a video, so... Oh. So, first thing we'll do is we'll take the fuel out of this one. Because we need it to be a buoyant. A buoyant. A buoyant. A buoyant. And we're offensive. Eh, only to French people. Nobody cares. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great way to... <laughs> Excellent. Ah, uh, that looks too much like a duck. Remember, remember the top and turn, top, fuck, top and tangan, the, fuck, how does, how, what was it? Called? I don't remember. The, uh, top and tangan gurn space duck. Because, okay, we'll, we'll empty all the fuel first so we get the most, a uh, most buoyant possible. It was like this massive plane. That looked like a duck. It looked like a duck. And I'm really into gurn logon, so I named it that. But it, it was so, so heavy. It was so taxing on the system that when you hit spacebar, you could hear all the fans on my computer just go up to high gear. Yeah, every time we turn the engines on, it's like the fans in your computer were the engines of the spaceship. It was so loud. It was ridiculous. So I think this is a good. So I guess we'll preface this by saying, at the moment, we're just going to design a plane that can complete the mission we we've laid out of being able to take off the water and get space it's not going to be able to accomplish anything productive in space well, at the moment well, what's our what are we calling space here orbit outside the atmosphere at least one orbit at least one orbit one orbit are we, oh you mean like all the way around mm -hmm. it, out of the atmosphere one time around the planet that's what i think is qualifies as space so what I, what i what i mean is like it won't be able to deliver a payload it won't be able to complete a mission just, just its mission its mission it's a test aircraft its mission around the planet is to get to space i fucking forgot about our flag oh the paper airplane yeah it's i like that flag that's great it's, it's a wonderful great flag. this is how the people get in so we probably shouldn't be able to we shouldn't block that put parachutes in front of it <laughs> Fall to your death now, bitch. Anyways. Um, I love how you can, like, super cheaty add a thousand parachutes if you, like, do the eight times thing. Are you going to be, like, pushing stuff inside things? Yep, because that's how they design real airplanes. And if you think about it, we took all the fuel, so that's just structural fuselage technically, right? Structural fuselage. So I don't feel bad about pushing things inside of things. That sounded... <laughs> not good. <laughs> yep. That sounded not good. I should put things on. Do, 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 and do, shut up. Do, 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 do. Shush. <laughs> Be quiet. No. <laughs> I don't know what it's been, but for like the last month and a half. Do we have tweak scale on? I don't know. We do not. Excellent. Dang. Oh, well, it's fine. The last like month and a half, I've just been going hard at the 80s music. Yeah? I'm loving it. It's yeah? It's great. It's great? It's good? Yeah. Cool. Good to know, Merrick. 
Nobody gives a shit. Nobody cares. Thanks, Matt. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Abusive probably co-host. Probably one or two people care. Probably. It's Jared. Jared cares. Does he? No. No, Jared doesn't give a shit. I'm like, are you sure he cares? I don't think so. I hate that when it like, oh, go sideways. That that makes the most sense. That is exactly the last thing I want you to do. That's what I want. See, because then I push it in, it gets kind of, you know. It gets the right shape when you push it in. Yes, it does, Merrick. I mean, I'm, I, I'm just, just trying to do the right thing, man. Come on, stop it! <laughs> <laughs> just, just do what I tell you, airplane, space boat. You're not even like a thing. I am, I am literally making you from nothing. Like, like, I, I just. To do it? Oh, thank goodness. Ah, oh, I did it. Warning, the things holding fire are liquid fire or flammable. Oh, jeez. Flammable liquid. That's what it is, man. Yeah. It's flammable liquid. Um, okay. So, these are gonna be... This is the buoyant part. These are what gonna be... <laughs> these are the, the... These are the fuel. That's what's gonna hold the fuel. This is fuel. It holds many. We do fuel tanks, and then I say we throw these on. Yeah. How's that working for you? No, that looks pretty dumb. Yeah, I, I think that looks. Pretty dumb. Here was here's what I was thinking. So it's kind of aerodynamic, right? Yeah. And then we'll put a table on top, and it'll fly. I don't like that. Jesus Christ. <clears throat> I don't like that. I think you need to take... Turg -turg -turg -turg. <laughs> <It's> I <laughs> can fly. <laughs> That's how planes work, right? Don't think so. Actually, I saw a plane from, like, the night... Way, way back in the day before planes could fly. Um, and it had, like... What looked like a basic propeller style plane, except it had wings and like pistons. So as the as the engine turned, it would flap the wings up and down. Ah, uh, yeah, I've seen those. This is closer to what I wanted. Are you going to adjust the angle of incidence? Do you remember what that is? Angle of incidence. Do you know what angle of incidence even is? Uh. Well, okay. It's this we'll, one. Right? We'll overlay. We'll overlay the definition while Merrick tries to explain it. It's this one, right? Where the wings are at the angle of the thing. Angle of the wings compared to what? <laughs> Merrick. Angle. You explained this to me like six times. I and did. I forget it every time. I, I explained it to you many times. I am like the most forgetful human. I apologize. I know. I know. I know. I have long since stopped. <laughs> it's a manta ray. It, yeah. That looks kind of cool. Matt, I get it. You have New Zealand. You're fucking New Zealish. What is this? What does a manta ray have anything to do with that? I don't know. <laughs> just dick. <laughs> dick. <laughs> it just it just comes out in your in your art. Does it? The manta ray. Maybe it's your spirit animal. It, I don't think so. No. That looks. That looks <laughs> super weird. I mean, okay. From above, I'm okay with that shape of the wing. Yeah, the shape of the wing. It's like... this. this. We need to put something here. Oh, you know what we'll do? Because if we just leave it like this, it's going to like tip to the sides, right? Sure. So here we'll put like other little pontoony things. Pontoon. Pontoons. Pontoon. It's like 11 some. We're both tired. I'm not that tired. I mean, I did work out today, but... I took a nap, so I feel actually pretty good. <laughs> but but I find even after like exercise and stuff, I st I feel pretty well rested. I don't know why. You think that'd be the other way around? You know what we should probably check? I forgot. Oh hey, wow, that's not bad. That's that's pretty good. I just add engines. Yeah, but I I gotta add little tail bits too. Remember so. Oh yeah, you, you want to just fly like that? <laughs> probably not. Hmm. Too much. <laughs> they move it as slight as possible. Too much. 
I was thinking just a tiny bit, just for a tiny bit of stability. See, this is the other thing you think. So, okay, angle of incidence, I will explain, mm -hmm. is the angle of the of the wing compared to the oncoming air, and like compared to the fuselage, the body of the airplane. I was gonna say the ground. So, well, it's kind of, the ground's irrelevant in an airplane when it's in the air, technically, until it hits it. Yeah. So, so angle of incidence is this angle. That increases lift. The higher the angle of incidence, the higher the lift, but you go too much angle and you stall because the air has to go, stay on the surface of the wing. So as the, see the shape of the wing, so as the air comes over, it has to stick to the wing to create lift. Too much angle, the, the air has to work too hard to stay on the wing, and it leaves the wing. That's, well, that's a stall. So too much angle's bad. I but, was right. But a tiny, yeah, you were. You, you couldn't you, see my hand motions, but. You were, you were technically correct. So, but that, a little bit of that is extra lift, and then a little bit of this angle, the angle up here, that's called dihedral. That provides support, or that provides stability. Because, see, they're at this angle, so but the, the lift is technically, on this one, because the angle tiny bit, the lift is technically going this way, well, I mean, much, much less steep of an angle, and then this lift's going this way, but as it rolls, what? The cords. Sorry. Oh, they might be, they might be noises like that. That's good. That's good. There we go. I'll give it some slack. So anyways, but dihedral, like I was saying, is just as the plane wants to, to roll a certain way. So, so here, so, so stop it, stop it, stop it. Oh, <laughs> Too much. Dude. Yeah, do, okay, there we go. Do it. So as, as it rolls this way, see how now this wing on, the, on our right, the plane's left wing is flat. Mm -hmm. So the lift is going straight up. But the other one is at a higher angle, so there's not as much lift going straight up. Yeah. So that means it'll straighten itself out a little bit. And if the other way, now this wing, this its right wing, our left, is producing more lift, so it'll come back. And it balances it out. And it took people a long time to figure that out. <laughs> Apparently. Seems kind of simple. Yeah, now that we, in hindsight, but hindsight's 20-20 in it, so... I think that's a saying, right? That's a thing. That's that's the saying. You know, you know what I should do before. You know what? I realize it's gonna. It's super hard to put controls on while the wings at all the weird angles. So stop it. Stop. So just it. undo everything you've done. Has it been 15 minutes? It has been 15 minutes. Oh well. We'll keep going. We can edit. Yeah. You know what we'll do? I'll just set another timer. So every 15 minutes, just so we know. I was like, whoa. There. Reset 15 minutes. Okay. So put Let's this on. Let's do a 45 minute Kerbal Space Program play. Well, I mean, we can edit it or time, or like you said, we can time lapse if we deem this building part not interesting enough. It, it's educational, though. You just did like a 15 minute fucking science lesson. Pretty much. So we need lots of flaps. Flaps are good. <laughs> flap, flap. Again. That could be interpreted dirty, <laughs> very sexually. Wow, not normally, but yeah, sure. I mean, I mean, yeah. Flaps but... are good, man. <laughs> That's what you're into. <laughs> it, they're just a naturally occurring part. Of, you know, never mind. <laughs> it's time to stop now, man. I'm gonna put that on the internet, and that's gonna be there forever. You know what? Let's edit that part out. <laughs> Please. Might, maybe I'll save the audio. <laughs> that looks kind of silly. <laughs> <laughs> Going full of fucking... The shadows when I'm watching. <laughs> yes, the, the shadows are pretty good. And I like how the two lines... If you look at the shadow... Does that look weird? Because it's really far forward and not in. <laughs> I did so much. If you look right at the head, right at the shadow, it's got two little lines. Oh, there? Yeah, so it's, it's like, it's got little eyes.
There, that's what I wanted. That's that's the wing I want. I feel like this will be good. I will trust you. You do plain things normally, so... This. This is the design I want. The basic design that I want. So now we have to figure how do we, how, we have to figure out how do we attach engines. Put them on top, away from the water. Here, here. Okay, 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 okay. 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 Here's what I was thinking. Oh, that kind of hurt. <laughs> Ow. Good, but it was bad. Here's what I was thinking. Here's what I was thinking. Uh, fuel tanks. Where's jet fuel? Like Monopropellant? No, thank you. <laughs> nothing to add to that? No, nothing. <laughs> I have I have literally no comment. It's it's. I want it to snap. I just gotta do it here for a second. You gotta you gotta do it in a place where it's not all weird, and then it'll do it. Like, see. I believe the colloquial term is janky. Colloquial? Colloquialism? I know so many people who cannot pronounce that word. Colloquial? Colloquialism. Colloquialism? What? What? Exactly. Colloquialism? Colloquialism. 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 That's the problem people have. English is hard. English is a, is a silly language sometimes. I think I'm just gonna like skip over that whole thing till where I just said English is hard and keep going. Probably. Like us going clear, clear, clear. La, 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 la. Prob yeah, it's probably a good, good, good idea. Probably good. Idea. Looks kind of dumb, but it, it it should be functional, which is why I'm doing it. I think this is too low of the water. These engines, if we put engines there, get messed up. Yep. So I'll just do this more. A little. We can get a little bit more fuel in there if we do this. Honest. Okay. Here's what I'm thinking. We take this off. Wow. That line get right down the middle. Well, what is that? Just graphic fuck up. Oh well. And now it's gone. Was it ever really there? Don't think so. Uh, uh, games are hard sometimes. <laughs> games are hard. Let's get that on a t-shirt. That should be our first official shirt. Games uh, are hard. Oh, come on. Come on, just stick on there! What? <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, uh. Yep, that's good. What's happening here is good. I hate you. Maybe just leave the entrance up there. Wow, well, no. you can like see through the plane when it's in ghost mode. Well, what this, what I want, these are these are also the support pontoons, right? So, oh, so that's why I'm putting those on aerodynamics. Is there a teeny tiny nose cone? Ah, there is. Will it fit? Will it fit? No. See, in the game, jet engines work underwater, but <laughs> I want to at least kind of pretend that there's some sort of, like, you know... Realism? Yeah. Are you saying jet engines don't have the ability to siphon water out of the ocean? Jet engines in real life? are not submarines. Submarines do not use jet engines. Some of them use nuclear reactors. But is that a jet engine? No. No. It's really not. It is pretty far from a jet engine. <laughs> There's turbines, things spin, heat's involved. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but... <laughs> Basically the same thing. I love coming home from work and pulling, like, spending 20 minutes pulling splinters out of my skin. Gross. It happens when you work in a woodmill. 
That's gross. Um. So we've got a few intakes there, but we need a lot more intakes. What engine are you gonna use? Well, I mean, we at least need a few jet engines. You know what we should probably do? What's that? See if it flies. Yeah. That's, that should be our first step. Maybe we should... Definitely needs more air intakes. Uh, I guess we'll throw a few of these on for now. Why, why so many air intakes? Because as you get higher and higher and higher, there's less and less air, right? Yes. So this is kind of... It doesn't work this way really in real life as far as I'm aware. But in the game, again, it's just a number. Intake air is just a number. So the more fuel, the more air intakes you have, the higher that number is. Because the jet engines only care if it reaches below a certain level. So you can have the jet engines run longer if you have more air intakes. Okay, what are we gonna do for landing gear? That's landing gear's easy. Landing gear doesn't break if you. Oh, we can't just let it like scrape along its belly until it. Nope. Eh, little bird feet. That's a really good place for me. Yeah. Well, we'll have to do the biggest ones for this, though. But well, you should always go with the biggest one. Yep. Size size is important, ladies. And gentlemen. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. <laughs> yeah, sure. <laughs> it's <laughs> Although, you know... I was I was reading an article that said uh, the bigger a guy's junk is, the more likely he is to be gay. Really? Yeah. No, that's that's fact, as far as I'm aware. That's interesting. I guess. <laughs> I'm not sure how you would you would calculate that. I, I guess it would just be like, are you gay? Do you have big junk? And they just make a graph. They yeah. just plot a chart. <laughs> <laughs> Do you think they need a bar graph? Nah, I think pie chart. <laughs> I think a parabola. That's that's a what parabola I. Parabola of peril. <laughs> a parabola of peril. A palab. A parabola. parabola. A parabola of. Prada. Para parabola? It's parabola, right? Mm hmm. Parabola. <laughs> now I'm thinking it's wrong. Now, you know how you say a word? You say you keep saying a word over and over again, and then you're like, that can't be right. Spoon. Spoon. You know, like one time I, I kept sit, sitting there over and over again, and I, I kept saying air. 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 And I'm just like, why is that such a dumb word? And then I realized English is just stupid sometimes. This is a parabola. Oh, yeah, parabola. The parabola is the curve formed from the points x and y that are equidistant from the direct directrix and the focus. <laughs> Holy shit, what? The Science. line perpendicular to the directrix and passing through the focus, that is, the line that splits the parabola up in the middle, is called the axis of symmetry. <laughs> that's what I have to say to that. Well, that smelled like mini donuts. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say a parabola of penises. Because that's what it would be, technically. If I'm... If I'm... Yeah, I, I guess. I don't really know how parabolas work, so... Fuck it. These apparently reduce drag in sure. real life. I don't know if it will do it in this game. How? How could they possibly reduce drag? Well, I'm glad you asked, Merrick. <laughs> yes, 15 more minutes of science. Okay, the basic gist of it... Um, no, I actually want 15 minutes of science. Okay, the basic gist of it... 15 minutes. The basic gist <laughs> is that when when air... When, when a wing is producing lift, the air doesn't go... Especially a, wing, a, a sweat wing like this. The air doesn't just go straight. It 
sweeps along the surface of the wing, along the along the leading along the edge. It doesn't just go right over. It goes. It kind of like goes down like this. Okay. So what happens when it reaches the end? Without this, is it just flows off? And then this air, because this air is higher pressure, and this air is lower pressure. This air, this air wants to get there. Yeah. So if it comes off this end, it cur- it like it like comes over like this, and it swirls. And the swirling creates a ton of what they call Whoa. induced drag. Sorry, that's yeah. just like ripped Yeah, through. I'm watching. It creates induced drag. It's a, a drag produced by lift. Okay. You can't. So these help reduce that by, it's literally just a fence. <laughs> it's an air fence. What other, what other people have done is they take little teeny tiny, they call them wing fences. <laughs> and they just like it's that's you know it's like that and it, it just blocks the air and the air just goes straighter that's all it is <laughs> the russians the, well the soviets liked to use those so the what the western scientists they would go oh those wing fences are there to keep the wind from defecting to the west <laughs> 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 i thought i thought that was funny <laughs> oh fuck that's good yeah i thought that was i thought that was pretty good it's like the faggot. Yeah, the faggot. MiG fifteen. I'll we'll put a picture up. The MiG fifteen. The code name NATO code name faggot. <laughs> used those those. <laughs> used those as, air fences. Yes. Uh, where's the crazy jet engines? These are the crazy jet engines. I guess. I. I don't know if this has ever been said before, but faggots use fences. Oh, gosh. I, I don't know if that's a sentence that's ever been said. I don't know, dude. Probably. They should at least move. It'll, it'll, it'll roll. The wheels have engines, right? You know what I'm gonna do? You know what I'm gonna do? whisper away from the mic sorry i'm turning off the pitch because i realized this is the pivot point so if it's pitching pretty much on the pivot point it's just just going to push it up or down what are you looking at sure oh (laughs) name the brand of the mic stand um yeah so if it's pretty much on the pivot points which are between these two points or it's pretty much, but it's pretty much the center of gravity. This point here, mm-hmm. because these are so close, it'd just be like pushing the plane up and down instead of back here acting as a lever and pivoting. So just roll on these. Okay, let's give it a try. Let's do we'll, it. We'll call this. Oh wow, fifteen minutes. <laughs> That's pretty good. Okay, well we'll set another fifteen minutes. Forty forty-five minutes of Kerbal. And then I mean we can edit. Yeah, there's gonna be. It'll be a little shorter. Than Flying that. space boat. Boat. Flying space boat. Yes. We have a naming tradition here. Butts. Butts. Yeah, I like butts. You know what? Butts can be pretty great. Butts can also be not very great, but. Same. Yeah. Same. Same. <laughs> I agree. I feel the same way. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> Same. My butt inflates and deflates randomly. Some days it's like wonderful, and other days it's like someone taped, filled my pants with old balloons. Couldn't even say it. Okay. I wish I had my joystick. Yeah? Yeah. The device I use to fly airplanes on the computer. Get your mind out of the gutter, Merrick. Jeez, this thing's... Oh. Oh my god, look at his fucking face. I'll never get over that. Yeah. Go, go, speed racer. Well, here's hoping it flies. It's not moving very fast. We, we may need. We'll probably need more engines. 10, 11, 12. Here we go. We're picking up speed. I assume we're gonna need like 50 meters a second at least to take off. 
No, turn that off. Okay. Don't hit the brakes. <laughs> we will, however. We're going too fast. Yeah, the lights. Do we have any lights? No. I thought we would, but we don't. Excellent use of. I don't know the conservation. The conservation of switches. At four five five. I'm seeing if we can. No, 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 no. Get some extra lift out of this. It's not working. Don't you want them to go the other way? Nope. Because they're so close to the middle, right? So that'd be lifting up instead of that'd be pushing up instead of pushing down. Come on, we're gonna need many more engines. How many more engines do you think? I have no idea. Come on, go back. Well, I mean, there's Just a ramp. There's a there's a ramp here, so Just pull up. We'll see what happens. So first things first, we know. Seventy. Nope. Well, I think Did you just crashed the game. It's a lovely sound. If it crashes, doesn't that kill the capture? Sometimes. Forty-five minutes. Wasted. Give all the audio. Now it's dead. Well, shit. Um, I guess we don't need to do an end sync. Um. So I guess I, I guess we'll pause it here. Well. Hopefully we got the audio. We from saved that one. we saved the plane, so we'll be able to refly it again. And hey, we could we could just like if we don't have the footage, we could just animate over it. Yeah, we'll we'll figure something out. We we may just we may just say, look at the plane we built. Yeah. Hey, welcome to the first episode of Kerbal Space Program. This plane we built totally didn't spend a whole like forty minutes now, fucking building a plane. <sighs> Technology, I love it. All right. We need. You know what? Honestly, it's probably the mods we have installed. They're old. Is probably we should probably uninstall them. We never. We didn't use any mods, anyways. Okay. So, good. we should probably uninstall them. Okay. Well, this has been fun. I guess we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye. Dang it. It's gonna be okay. Uh, uh, uh. Uh. <laughs> get to the chamber. Dead. <laughs> How do you stop? You have to hit the stop the stop button.